Hello, Delhi students. While we are distance learning, you will be using the program Meet to see your teachers. This video will show you the basics of Meet. Let's get started. When you first log into your Chromebook, you may be on a different website, such as your school. You want to first go to Google. So I'm going to come up here towards the top of my Chromebook and hit this plus button. I will then go to Google. G -O -O -G -L -E dot com. If I am not sure that my teacher created a Google Classroom, I am going to check my email. When I am on my Google page, I am going to go to Gmail. It is here that I can see emails that people have sent me. In this case, I am seeing an email from my teacher, Mrs. Sepulveda. I am going to open it and read my message. It looks like I am supposed to be meeting her today in Meet, so I will click this link that she sent me. If I know that my teacher has created a Google Classroom, I am going to come up to my waffle, and then I will go to Google Classroom. If my teacher has set up a Google Classroom, I am going to go into it. So in this case, my teacher has set up a Google Classroom for me, and I am going to try to go to Meet so that I can see my teacher. I can click this link up here in the banner, or my teacher has posted a message to me earlier today. I am going to click this. You'll see that I received this message that says that something went wrong. That's okay. This just means my teacher isn't there yet. I'm going to wait one to two minutes and try again. I am going to click this X up at the top and just wait one to two minutes. Let me try again. I will click this link or this one up here. They are both the same thing. It is now asking me if I want Meet to use my microphone and camera. The first time that you sign in, it will ask you this. Please push allow. And you will see yourself on the screen. So it is here that I can test my microphone before I join and see my teacher. Over here in the left-hand corner, you'll see these little dots moving. That means that your microphone is working. I am going to push join now. I can see that my teacher is waiting there for me. So I can see my teacher and all of my classmates on the screen here when they start arriving. Over in the upper right hand corner, you can see a little picture of yourself. Next to your picture is a chat box. If I click this, a chat box will open up. Your teacher may ask for you to write something in here such as, good morning, Mrs. Sepulveda. That is my teacher's name. Once I type that, I can click the return or enter key on my keyboard, or I can click this little arrow right here and it will send. To get back to where my teacher is, I'm going to click this little X and you'll see that the messages go away. You will probably want to mute your microphone unless your teacher asks you to unmute yourself so that she can hear you. When the microphone is red, that means that my microphone is off and my teacher cannot hear me. Now please make sure that your microphone is on when your teacher is asking you a question. But when your teacher directs you to turn off your microphone, you want to make sure that it is red. You can turn it on and off by clicking the microphone. You'll see that when it is off, it is red and it has a slash through it. If I unclick this, that means I, everybody will be able to hear me. And sometimes my teacher does not want to hear everybody all at once. So please make sure you follow directions from your teacher. I then have the option to turn on and off my camera. I'm going to click this so you see what that does. So up here, my little picture went away. Now I just have my icon for my name. If I push it again, then my picture comes back. And this is what your teacher is seeing. Your teacher is able to see you. When I am done meeting with my teacher, I am going to click this middle button, the little red phone right there. That means I am going to leave the meet session. 
and now my teacher can no longer see me. So make sure that you stay there until your teacher tells you to leave. If for some reason you accidentally push that button, you can click rejoin. You'll have to go through this setup again and make sure you push join now in order to join the call. It is very important for you to understand that when you are in a meet session, it is just like being in class. You need to be respectful and you need to be appropriate. Please remember that you are in a classroom when you are in Meet. I hope this video helped you, and if you have any questions, please make sure you reach out to your teacher. Bye!